So, just been down to the golf studios uh, in Surbiton, uh, had a bit of a lesson, did um, some of the things that they can do on their launch monitor. So, on their launch monitor, you can uh, play your shot and it instantly reviews it on the video. So, on there, I was able to change my movement. So, when I was getting slightly ahead of the ball, as you saw, see on one of the lesson videos, um, I was able to hopefully change that by slightly changing the, the motion. So, on the video now, Hopefully you'll see that. Um, it's well worth checking out as far as the Golf Studio in Surbiton. They're on Twitter, uh, they're on Facebook, um, and you know, really worth your time. So please enjoy. So what we've got here is a system like GC2, but the launch ones are down here. We are comparing me at the moment to Zach Johnson and obviously on here is our visual feedback. So what we're using here is some sticks to try and help me try and hit it properly. With five shots. So you can do as many shots you want, you can if there's something that's gonna upset the averages, yeah, just what you're doing it, untick it, builds an average of the rest, and it shows you the sort of vision of it from all sorts of different angles as well. So okay. it from sort of silos, you can see where they're all landing. Yeah. So whether you're getting different launch angles, some people get one. Which ones you go, look, there one goes low, and they yeah. sort of get all this sort of spray. Okay. So it just shows you from a few different angles how to uh, collect the data. So again, nice one. Just unwind those hips on the way through as you feel and stay well clear of that stick in front of you. So let you do five or six of those. Yeah. It'll after five shots, it'll put a little uh, target down for us, exactly based on the average of the shots you've hit as well, okay. which is quite nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, give yourself a nice bit of space from that golf ball, so you don't ever feel too tight to it. You've got lots of space, you can just unwind those hips in a really smooth manner. Screen, just how you clear those hips on this one. Bang, yeah. it's lovely. Really nice. I don't, I don't tend to see that shape very often. Nah. Obviously, you know, usually it's a, it's a, you know, a bit of pushy fade. Yeah. So it's changed things. A bit. Massive difference. Everyone come in. <laughs> <laughs> So, gap where Jazz probably easier to sit on that one, isn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, we've got all our ball speeds, yep. we've got all our back spins, we've got all our side spins, we've got all of our launch angles, height at the top of its flight. So, that's viewing just basic data. Yep. Uh, almost a GC2 style. I'm now going to do it on a 3D view so we can look at it side on. So, you can see it's from the side, you can see the launch angles, how they're comparing, where the landing spots are, where the ball's finishing. You can view it from the side on completely so you can look at different trajectory. We can okay. view on the hip point, which is like an overhead view, so your dispersion. And if I have to do a find average, it'll create a little golf ball based on that. A little black spot so indicates your average. So that becomes my 100 yard club? <laughs> it's your 100 yard club. You've done it. So, as far as these then, so as far as the spin rate, so we've got an average of around six. We've yeah. obviously got a three nine that maybe yeah, strike. Yeah, if we're looking for the spin rate, we take the three nine out. Yeah. And we say, right, these are the. This is the ones which are fair, they're all in line with each other. 3-9 was a little bit of ground just before the ball, turned that face over, lost a bit of the spin, which is why we've got a slightly higher side spin on it as well. And yeah. then we would take that out. And we can see it again, we find the average. So we can look at our launch angle as an average in amongst the group. 
so we can see that and then if we go from the 3D point again we can find our average and it will show us an overlay to where they all are. Okay, cool. Then we go try again. We can now put it up to a 7 iron and we can go through a few more.